Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Fridays with Fran and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Over the years working here at the farm park I've been asked multiple times how I got my job here at the farm park, how I ended up working with animals and I've also had a lot of families with young children who are desperately keen to work with animals asking how their kids can get into it and I know there's a lot of young people watching these videos so I thought I'd give a few hints and tips about how to get experience to work with animals and how I ended up working here at the farm park. So our key four things is education, getting some experience, getting to know people, so contacts, and having a great work ethic. If you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. I was lucky enough to grow up on a farm. Uh, as a young child, my dad was a sheep farmer, so he had a thousand sheep. So I grew up in a lambing pen, helping dad uh, in charge of bottle feeding the lambs. Um, as I got a little bit older, the sheep left, but we still had an awful lot of pigs. So I had over a thousand pigs on the farm and cows. So it's been in my blood. Every weekend has been taken up by helping dad, chasing him out the door, throwing my wellies on and racing him down the drive if he left before me. But I know that's not the case for everyone. And I've got lots of friends also working in farming who have come from a completely different background. So if you've grown up in a town or a city and you've got no experience of working with animals at all, and you think that you might not be able to get into this industry, don't worry at all. There are a huge number of opportunities and often people who haven't grown up with a farming background can often end up being the best farmers out there. Now I have to confess, working within agriculture, you aren't going to become a millionaire overnight, but it's part of your lifestyle. So if it's a lifestyle you want, you have to work hard and the rewards can be great. It's not a job which will be nine to five, um, long hours, Often it's quite tough working in the pouring rain, but the rewards are high. So a newborn lamb on a spring sunny day is a brilliant day, but then you can walk in the next day and it's snowed. So um, a real challenge. So you want to have that huge work ethic, that drive and that passion for it is the most important thing. I'll also say that an awful lot of farms today have now diversified and they're not only working on the raw farming to earn their money, an awful lot of farms have campsites, tourism businesses alongside. So if you're currently working in a cafe and you want to be outside working with animals and feel miles from it but feel you don't have the experience, you may well do and a lot of farms might be wanting your experience to be working as part of their business and you can gain more experience in the other bits whilst you're there. If you're still at school, the one big piece of advice I'd give you is to study hard. Now you don't need any GCSEs or qualifications necessarily to become a farmer but you want a good understanding of biology because basically farming is biology. We're growing crops, we're growing plants and we're looking after animals. Another thing is business. So farms in the end are a business and they need to make money. So if you want to be running your own farm, concentrating on business is another key part. But when I was at school, I studied for my A-levels and those were mostly science-based. And then I went off to agricultural college. So I studied at Harper Adams up in Shropshire, but there are a number of brilliant agricultural colleges right around the country. And those uh, focus on lots and lots of rural-based uh, courses so not just agriculture, I studied animal welfare, but there's forestry, um, off-road vehicle design, so a huge number of courses that link into the industry that you can study. If you are lucky enough to study at an agricultural-based college, uh, they're an awful lot of fun. You'll be with a lot of like-minded people. And as I say, a lot of people weren't from farming backgrounds, but they fit straight in when you get there. Uh, there's a lot of wearing wellies around the site, no need for high heels at all times, so wellies out in the evenings, um, and an awful lot of practical based courses. So there is a lot of lectures in theatres, uh, watching PowerPoint presentations, but there's also an awful lot of hands-on practical experience and whatever topic that you've chosen. So I studied animal welfare, so we did a lot of hands-on in all aspects of the farm and with small animals. So we learned how to care for animals, right as small as of crickets and locusts, feeding reptiles, right up to the big farm animals, and we studied about zoos as well. Um, but I know if you studied agriculture, you'd be out learning about planting, uh, driving lots of tractors, so a huge range of skills, and it makes college an awful lot more fun. On top of the great courses that you get at university or agricultural college, if you do get to go, and um, you also are with like-minded people. So there is also the fun part of going to college and making all your friends. So I grew up in quite an urban area, despite being on a farm, and most of my friends at school um, went home to houses in the town and thought I was a bit strange for going off lambing with dad. So I often kept it quite quiet. Um, once I got to agricultural college, I was with people who were just like me, loved animals, loved being outdoors, and I made some of the best friends for life. And even 10 years on, we still regularly mess each other, we meet up when we can, um, and they will be my long-loved friends. Aside from the academic side of things, um, there's also a huge amount you can do extracurricularly to help you get involved in farming. 
there is uh, lots of ways you can volunteer and it doesn't have to be just on a farm you can volunteer with any animals to get experience so if you've got a farm down the road and you can offer help out on a saturday morning or if they've got a busy period that'd be great as long as you seem keen and enthusiastic a lot of uh, business owners will be keen to have your help other things that you could do is like volunteering at a kennels if there's a local kennels or with um, shelters um, rescue centers so those are great ways to get experience there's also a club called the Young Farmers, and this is very popular with people who want to get involved in farming or are already involved in farming. And it's for teenagers and people up to the age of 26, and they do a huge amount of activities. There's weekly meetings where you all get together, um, and then they go off and visit farms, visit attractions, um, and they're always farm-based activities. And again, you're there then with people who are like-minded. There are a number of Young Farmers clubs right around the country. The best way to do it is to look up on their website and find the nearest one to you. Um, and they range from big to small in size, um, but everywhere across the country, and you'll be there with people who've got interests just like you. On top of that, uh, more recently, there are a lot of social media sites and pages of people who are involved in farming. So if you're on Instagram or Facebook, obviously follow the Cotswold Farm Park, because we have lots of links. Um, but there's also a lot of people who are sharing their day-to-day -day lives out on their farm, and you can learn a huge amount of experience from what they're getting up to, um, and also follow groups for lots of hints and tips. As a summary, a roundup of what we've talked about is first of all education and that's not necessarily getting high grades in your exams, it's about learning the content that's there in the books and if you manage to go to agricultural college that's absolutely fantastic. This isn't just for young people, if you're in another business and you want to come into the agricultural, you want a big change of life, you can still study, you can still go to agricultural college and there's a big community of older students there too. As well as studying, uh, experience is really really important and possibly more so, so getting those contacts of people nearby where you can go and gain some experience not necessarily exactly what you want to do but something similar is brilliant and just talking to people putting your name out there um, is the best way to do it that could be popping it on a farming site on Facebook or just asking your neighbors if they know anyone that you can go and help uh, getting involved in young farmers a great way to hang out with people uh, just like you and following different social media sites and finally as I say your key ethic working hard having a drive and being prepared to be up at late and early in the morning working in all weathers is the most important part I hope you found that helpful or someone that's close to you has and if you've got any comments or any questions drop them in the comments below and we will answer them very shortly